tail of the bottomless blue. And his head's the star of the home. Brave sailor, beware, cause of big guns of when mysterious powers below. Oh, I'll sing you a song of the king of the sea. And his head's the star of the home. The ruler of all of the oceans is he. His mysterious powers below. Battles below, below, from Westward to Westward is gone. We're trying to be seen, and it's where people sing in the serious battles below. Isn't this perfection, Crispy? Out on the open sea, surrounded by nothing but water and imagination. Yes, it's simply delightful. What? I don't care. As for me, I'm about to heave ho! <laughs> what is that? Here's My lord, please, enough seafaring. This talk of mer people and the king of the sea is not a good nonsense. There is again, just turn ahead. Eric, you must return to court and take up your father's crown. That's not what I believe. Please, 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 please,
you've ever seen? I don't know, Ariel. I'm not sure we ought to be up here. Don't be such a guppy. A guppy? I'm as brave as you are. I'm not afraid of it. What about... Sharks! Where? Oh, Flounder, you really are a guppy. I am not. Aw. You'll never guess what I found today. Look! Wow, cool. What is it? I don't know, but about a scuttle will come on, I'll race you. Hey, wait for me! Hmm. 
but she missed the celebration. Apparently, Ariel takes her gift for granted, just like her mother did. A woman doesn't know how precious her voice is until she's been silenced. Silence. You two find out that that girl really wants to lure her here to my lair. I'll whip up a little spell to make her dreams come true. Then once we have her trapped, Trident will rush to her rescue. And then, my dears, yes. the Trident, Crown, and Throne will all be mine! <laughs> As a result of your careless behavior, careless and reckless behavior, the entire celebration was ruined, completely destroyed. This concert would have been the pinnacle of my distinguished career, Sebastian. But I didn't mean to. Ariel, listen. You've been given a gift, your mother's voice. It's a wondrous talent, one of the men's stewardship and care. I know, so, Daddy. So please, for the sake of her memory. I know, Daddy, I know. It wasn't Ariel's fault. We were going to come back straight away, but then the seagull started going on and on about it. Seagull? Human stuff? You went up to the surface? Um, nothing happened. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians. Daddy, they're not barbarians. They're dangerous. Nets, harpoons. You're my youngest. I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live under my roof, you'll obey my rules. You're so unfair. You're not going to go to the surface ever again. Understood? Oh, she's as stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers. <laughs> Give them an itch and they swim all over you. <laughs> I can govern a kingdom, but I can't control my own daughter. Maybe I was too harsh. Not since sire. If you ask me, you haven't been hard enough. I haven't? Of course not. She needs to be under constant supervision. Someone to make sure she gets into no more trouble. It's not a bad idea. I'd say it's a right good one. And you're just the crowd to do it. What? You heard me. From now on, Ariel is your responsibility. But sire, she's a very tough mermaid. And I'm just one crab. What if it's a hair on the evolutionary ladder? <laughs> if only I can make my father understand. I just don't see how one that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Look at this stuff.
swimming out of the sea. Mm. <laughs> Tell me, child, you got trouble in the mind. Sebastian! What is all of this? Um, just a few knickknacks I've collected, that's all. You want to be ashamed of yourself. If your father knew about this, he... You're not going to tell him, are you? Oh, please, Sebastian, he never understands. Ariel, down here is your home. Up there, it's a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. The seaweed is always green, huh? Somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more is you looking for? Under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better, down there it's wetter, take it from me. Up on the shore they work all day, out in the sun they slave away, while we devote and full time to float it under the sea. Down here all the fish is happy, as all through the way they roll. It's a fish on the day, they sad cause it's a boat. Guess who's gonna be on that plate? Uh -oh. Under the sea, under the sea. Nobody feed us, fry us, and eat us in fricassee. We was the lamp of love and fun. Under the sea, we are the world. We got no troubles, life is the bubbles. Under the sea. And they sound and chuck. The bass play the chuck play the chuck. The flute gave the new a soul. The red he can play the ring song and shrinks the trout rocking out the black fish he sings the sprout and the sprout they go where it's at. I know that love is love. Look at shit. Under the sea. 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 When the sardines begin to be green, it's music to me. What do they got? A lot of sand. We got a Parker Station man. He just a snail. No how to love. That's why it's hot to find it. Yeah, we in love. Dear father on his deathbed, that I turn you from a grass belt into a royal, have you married to a princess <gasps> by your next birthday, which is now just three days away. Did you ever try to take a princess to me? It's a joke. They're just as good as the ring and most of them can't even swim. No, this mortal woman that her flutter cape, our kingdom needs a queen. Where am I going to find her, Grinsby? A girl who has carefully and I've ever seen so weird. Wow. It's too much to know for you, isn't it? A girl out there who's a match for a guy like me. Perhaps you're just not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither! I thought you were an expert. On the stuff, sure. But yikes, the sight of them. Okay, she's <laughs> saying it. I don't know, Skittle, but I actually think he's pretty handsome. Trust me, Grinsby. When I come across a girl in my dreams, it'll hit me like lightning. Whoa! Those are coming fast and be great for being greedy. Man in the hatch is there from below deck and quickly. Whoa! The wind's on the moon! Oh, yeah. Careful, Scuttle! Ariel! 
the oh. storm is listening. The ship is listening back. Eric, take the wheel. Oh, good heavens. No. Oh, it's Eric.
love, my little Ariel? So that explains it. Just a minute there, Flounder. Who, me? You know Ariel as well as anyone. Who's the lucky merman? Gee, I don't know. I didn't even know it was love until the second chorus. <laughs> Action, any ideas? And tell her, but she doesn't listen. I tell her, the human world, it's a mess. They're nothing but barbarians. Humans? What about humans? Who said anything uh, about humans? Sebastian, have you been keeping secrets from me? Where is that girl? Then now let me see. What's it's going to call this one? A thumb doodle? A jitty whopper? Whatever it is, Prince Al Eric held in his own strong, beautiful human hands. Uh, Ariel! What is all this? Daddy, they're my treasure! Human junk? No treasure! Did you save a human from drowning? He would have died! That savage brute could have killed you! It's my job to keep you safe! But he didn't frighten me! He made me feel wonderful! Besides, I'm not a child anymore! No! Well, you're certainly talking like one! He's a human! And you're a mermaid! It doesn't matter! I wish Mother were here! Ariel, I wish your Mother were here just as much as you do! But I'm still the king! And you're not to be the service ever again! Am I clear? I'm just trying to protect her, Sebastian. Just leave her alone. She needs to cool down now. I hate him. Ariel, don't say that. And some friends you turn out to be spilling everything. I couldn't help it. He had my claws in the clamp. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. Go away. I said go away. I don't belong here. If only I could be up there. Poor child, poor sweet child. She has a very serious problem, hasn't she? If only there were something we could do. Who are you, Charles? Sweet child, poor child, so tragic, so misunderstood. Sad child. Life's a look, shall we say? Not good. <laughs> no. Who will ease her woes and worries? Who will help her get her man? Sweet child. Perhaps the sea witch can. You can't possibly be in heart, Ursula. She knows your dreams. Father says her magic is evil. She'll grant your prayers. Please, I gotta go. She'll cast a charm. That tiny spell while you're long. No one will tell, no one will care. It's you all that's there. Sweet child, dear child, poor child, sad child will bring you to her land right now. Better to have the set be a prince and you're reconciled. Together, forever. Take me to her. Quite the catch. Well, the answer is simple. You've got to become human yourself. 
You can do that. <laughs> My dear sweet child, it's what I live for, to help unfortunate workfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They were kidding when they called me the witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True? Yes. And I fortunately know little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And till lately, please don't laugh, I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic, poor, unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This one wants to get the girl. And do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor, unfortunate souls in pain, in need. Yes, indeed. Those poor, unfortunate souls in pain, in need. Those poor, unfortunate souls in pain, in need. So sad. So true. They come flocking to my closet and crying spells are slow, please, and I help them? Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice, someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to break them across the coals. Yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole I've been a saint to those poor unfortunate souls. I have a spell that will turn you into a human for three days. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to kiss you. Once you do, you'll stay human forever. And if I don't? You'll turn back into a mermaid, and your soul will be mine forever. Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? Of course, there's one more thing. My feet. But I don't have them. I'm not asking for much. Only your voice. But if I didn't wear my voice, how will I ever <laughs> You'll have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the importance of body language. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman, and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. Want to cross a bridge, my sweet? You've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and achieve your goal. Plus some debt, so now I've got her voice. The boss is on a roll. You part on fortune. Wait a minute. That's 
something different about you. Don't tell me it's your hand. You've been using the dingle hopper, right? No? Huh. I can't quite put my foot She's on it right now. She's got legs, bird brain. Ariel traded her voice for a pair of legs. No, kid, not your beautiful pipes. Now she has three days to make Prince Eric fall in love with her. And to do that, he's got to kiss her. But Prince will all say. <laughs>
might certainly work his wonders. Your, your Mr. Guest is groom for a groom, you might say. He's a boy. He's no voice. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't tell me she's fond of fights. I can't say I blame you. That's an antique from Dusseldorf. <laughs> Very amusing, yes. Well, she certainly knows how to make you smile. Come along, Bruce. Let's play the young with the loan for a bit. See
win and war. There you see her sitting there across the way. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. And you don't know why, but you're dying to try. You wanna kiss the girl. Yes, you want her. Look at her, you know you do. Possible she wants you to. There is one way to ask her. It don't take a word, not a single word. Go on and kiss the girl. Sing with me now. Sha la 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 my oh my. my. Look like the boy too shy. Gonna kiss the girl. Sha la 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 la. Ain't that sad? Ain't it a shame? Too bad. He's gonna miss the girl. has ever seen. We gather today for a vocal display, so our prince may at last choose a queen. These five princesses possess the most accomplished voices in all the land. Tonight, one of you will join our Prince Eric on the throne. May the masked woman win. in your heart. I wish I could say yes, but she's not here. The sun is nearly set and it's almost time for you to choose a mate. Oh dear one, Ariel? For heaven's sake, child. Why? that you find love somewhere in this room tonight. I have, 
Could it be another contestant? Yes, 
Why? I've never been prouder. Somehow, in the blink of an eye, when my back was turned, you grew up. You love him very much, don't you? Thank you. 